So let's let's think about the other part, though, that kind of the white elephant in the room, sort of, that, okay, who do the Southerners look to? It They look to Ireland, which fails to gain its independence in 1848. They look to Hungary, fails to get its independence in 1848. They look to Poland, which fails in 1830 and 48 to get its independence. Uh, you look at Italy, okay, it, it does unify, it does get the Austrians out, but it does so with French aid. <laughs> So are they ignoring that the examples they're looking at overwhelmingly are failures? That's a really interesting question because it does seem like a failed nationalist movement would be a dubious point of comparison to yeah. be certain. But, and I do think it helps speak to why, it helps speak to why Italy features so centrally after mm -hmm. Italy is successful. But I think on a deeper level, the failure isn't necessarily a problem for Southerners who are drawing these comparisons, perhaps surprisingly. But I was thinking about this, and each of the perspectives really deals with fail the failure of their points of comparison in a different way, but a way that nonetheless somehow relies on that very failure. So for the liberal internationalist perspective, again, part of the core of this perspective is the belief that Ireland, Poland, Hungary were oppressed in Europe. This comparison doesn't work unless there's oppression, tyranny, despotism, etc. Because that's what allows white Southerners to claim anti-slavery is going to oppress them the way monarchy and empire oppress the Irish, the Poles, the Hungarians, etc. So failure and tyranny weren't necessarily a problem for these comparisons. Then. It really kind of gave them more fuel of tyranny and despotism and oppression to dramatize what would happen to them should they not succeed in creating an independent Southern nation. And again, this is all about using the language of nationalism to dramatize what's at stake regarding slavery in particular. So. In this case, basically their focus was on the ideologies and the ideas. As long as they can claim they're fighting for the same cause, fighting against tyranny, fighting for self-government, that was what made those movements legitimate in the liberal perspective. Success wasn't necessarily necessary to claim legitimacy. And then of course the conservative secessionist perspective was based entirely on failure. So the conservative international perspective says the South is going to purify nationalism of this failure. And of course it does so by saying the movements in Europe were too liberal, went too far in granting social equality, and that's where slavery and Southern conservatism will purify nationalism of its liberal excesses and thereby avoid the failure of 1848 and avoid the failure of these movements. So again, the conservative perspective really depends on that failure in Europe and reading that failure as an opportunity for the South to do better. And even the unionists, for them, failure is proof of why the nation must be preserved. Right. So they really echo the last best hope kind of argument that we see Lincoln and Northerners making. Their republicanism is dying on their retreat throughout the world. The United States was the last best hope of republicanism. And if it fails, republicanism will fail throughout the world and there will be no hope for Ireland, Poland, Hungary, et cetera. So failure, you know, again, it's, it's, this is all very complex and complicated. Yeah. But failure actually ends up being really kind of central to the ways mm -hmm. that white Southerners are talking about the relationship between the South and European nationalist movements. And of course, it's somewhat hindsight that we can look back and be like, well, you should have learned because they failed and you failed. And I mean, that's Absolutely. always the danger we face as historians. <laughs> Yeah, that said, they do not learn from these lessons, in part because they're so intent on this ideological manipulation. Yeah. Instead of learning from where 1848 failed, for example, they just say, well, slavery will make it better. Well, yeah. obviously, that was not going to be the case, because slavery made it worse. <laughs>